Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today's is a good one. I have a very good tackle ticker and tip for you that will do a lot of things. It's going to increase the number of bites you get. It's going to increase the action in your bait and it's going to prevent you from losing more fish after you hooked up with them when you're talking about fishing a swing head, which is one of my favorite tools in terms of covering a lot of water and at the same time generating strikes. A swing head, for those of you who are not familiar, is a football style head that has a hook molded right into the, the swing head mold itself. You can see that the hook is connected by a bracket, a wire bracket that is molded into the head. And what that does is that allows there to be some mobility so that when you cast this bait out, you can retrieve it as a crankbait, you can retrieve it as a football head jig. It allows you to cover a lot of water and get a lot of different versi versatile uh, techniques out of this. It's, it's one of the baits that I actually think is very underutilized by the general public. I think the professional level anglers have really found how well this catches fish, but I think a lot of the general public doesn't use it enough. I don't think they experiment with enough different types of baits. Uh, and I don't think they recognize how good of a fish catching bait that this actually is. Now, having said that, I've got a couple of tweaks that I do to this because I pour my own and I do it a little bit differently. And I think it really increases, like I said, the action. It increases the number of bites and it decreases the number of lost fish because this is a bait that you lose a lot of fish on because you can make extremely long casts. And when you get bit at the end of the cast, a lot of times you set the hook, fish comes up and jumps, and they can get off because they have a lot of leverage with that loose, heavy head. Uh, but my tips for you will decrease that. And it's a very simple tip, and it's one that you can make uh, within seconds, and it makes a huge impact. So we're going to get into that. Before I do, I do want to remind you that I do a bunch of lake breakdowns. So if you're looking for a potential Christmas gift, uh, and you know you have an angler in the family or you need a little bit of help on the lakes that you fish in your local area, check out the lake breakdowns that I do at fishthemoment.com. We provide 40 waypoints for a bunch of different patterns based on the time of season that you're looking for help. Covered lakes all over the country at this point, uh, um, you know, between myself and the other anglers who are doing it on fishthemoment.com, there's like three or 400 different lake breakdowns up there. So check that out. Also, if you want to support the channel in another way, please do your tackle purchasing using my Tackle Warehouse affiliate link. That's in the video description as well, and it's a great way to support the channel. Every little bit of that comes right back to producing content for you guys to hopefully help you catch more fish and provide you with tips like today's swing head tip. All right, so this is a stock swing head that is purchased right off the shelves, the majority of swing heads all look exactly the same. You got your hook that is mounted directly to your football head, uh, swing head type mold. Uh, I, like I said, like to make my own. And I do it for a couple of reasons. One, this isn't how I like to fish my swing heads. What I like to do is I mold my own head, but I don't mold in the hook. If you're not familiar with this, to make a swing head using the molds that are out there, what you do is you connect the wire form that goes that's poured right into the lead with the hook. So once you're done, you pour in the lead, you come out with a completed bait. The problem with that is you can't get this hook off without ruining the hook. Now I came about doing this, not necessarily because I was pouring them at the time, but I wanted to reuse the head with a different hook after I ruined the hook. So I had a hook that had a rounded dull point. I wanted to replace the head. And what I did is I took the hook and I connected it to the used head with a split ring. And what I found by doing that, like this, what I found by doing that is I got a lot of improvements in the bait. So now I pour my own heads, just you putting the wire form inside the head. I don't attach the hook. And then at that point, what I'll do is I attach two split rings. Now this comes down to the, to the mold that you have. In this case, I use two split rings because the wire that comes through it is, uh, we're gonna say perpendicular to the bait. 
And therefore, if I put just one split ring and then attach the hook, my hook would actually be turned into the side. I want my hook point up equal with the line tie, parallel with the line tie. So I use two swivels. Now two swivels is actually how I prefer it. Um, so I use a mold specifically that has a, a hook connection point that is parallel with the line tie because the two split rings give me additional mobility and a little bit more separation from the head. So what you find is you have complete 360 spinning action of the bait compared to the head. Now, if I take a stock one, you don't get that. Uh, you probably can't see it quite, but you really get rotation this way, but you don't get rotation completely around because the hook and the wire form come to a point where they won't twist anymore. With the split rings, you can basically spin it 360 degrees. So what that does for you is when you're retrieving it, you get more action out of your bait because it's further from the head. So if you're retrieving this along the bottom, you get more motion out of the bait, more free swinging motion. But what I really like about this is it helps to generate more bites because of that, but I don't lose nearly as many fish. And the reason for that is I, the fish can't get as much leverage when you're fighting it. So with the other head, like I just showed you, if a fish is pulling against it and the rotating the bait, they hit that point where they can get, they can get leverage. You won't get that same thing out of the fish. They have to spin completely around to be able to get any form of leverage. So it really decreases the number of fish that you lose. So you're going to get more bites. You're going to, because you get more action out of the bait, and then you lose less fish. So to me, it's a no brainer. So every time I pour these, like I said, I don't connect the hook. I just pour the head, use two swivels, connect the hook to that. And I feel like it drastically improves the bait's performance over a stock model that is made with no split ring. Two other advantages to using the split rings over your traditional swing head comes down to the fact that now you can slide your bait fully up the hook shank. You know, one concern, one of the biggest errors people make when throwing a traditional swing head is they rig their plastic so that it comes down the eye. And at that point, if you come down the eye, what happens is it really limits the mobility. So I'll change this one up or slide it forward. So they slide it like you would normally on uh, a plastic bait onto say a Texas rig, but that limits the movement. So what you do is you keep your, your hook rigged so that the plastic comes to about the eye of the hook and you keep movement. But that's an error a lot of people make is they slide it too far. You don't even have to worry about that when you're using it in this case. If you slide this plastic further up, it's just gonna hit the bottom part of that, that bottom split ring and therefore it's not gonna limit your mobility because you still have that full split ring between the split ring and the head of the bait. So that's one thing. The second is you tend to get a little bit more noise because there's more motion for this to swing around and you've got more metal parts to kind of click like a crayfish does. The other thing you can do with this, like I said, the way I learned is I want, I had a bad hook that I wanted to replace. In this case, because you're using the split rings, you can replace it with whatever hooks that you want whenever you want. So if you want to go from an EWG to a straight shank to a worm hook, whatever it is, you can simply take it on and off. So therefore you're not locked into a specific hook like you are when you purchase them pre-made. Um, and you can do this very simply with a pre-made one. I mean, you're going to end up having to cut that hook off, but you can cut the hook off and then attach a split ring, two split rings, and then whatever hook you want. So you can still take the ones that you buy and make this adjustment. Uh, whether it's up to you whether you want to cut a good hook off or fish it with the hook the way it is and you and wait for the hook to bend out or round over and then replace it but just know that you can improve the performance of a swing head by adding those couple of split rings it really does make a big difference and it's one that to me took the swing head from being a good bait for me to one of the ones that i've always got tied on so give it a try guys it's a simple little tip that makes a drastic difference, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. We'll have a new tip coming tomorrow for you.